Welcome to Jim's Bar and Pick Shack. Okay, so today we are smoking a five pound uh, prime rib. This is uh, just a nice prime rib. It's uh, bone off. Normally I prefer it bone on, but today's is bone off. So what we're going to do is first we're just going to score through this fat. There's not a lot of fat on here, but let's score through it because we're going to apply a uh, we're going to apply an herb rub and then just my standard seasonings for prime rib which are salt and pepper a uh, little garlic powder and that's it but this is just going to give us a nice little crust and a nice little top we're waiting for the smoker to come up to temperature we're not quite there yet. Uh, we're gonna do this at about uh, 275. Piece this size, I'm thinking it's gonna go probably two, two and a half hours. But we'll, we'll see. But, uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, rub on here. Now this is just some Italian style seasonings. It's some oregano and some, it has some uh, rosemary in it and some other, other herbs. But this is going to go on first. It's gonna act kind of as our binder. There's a little bit of olive oil in it. And then on top of this, we're gonna come back with just our standard salt and pepper rub. So I think we've got that on there. And this is salt and pepper. There's a little bit of paprika in here just to give it a little bit of color. But this is going to be just pretty much our standard beef rub. Have to get all sides of it like always. Make sure we're all set. Because we want this out beautifully and it will I mean it's a, it's a prime rib we're shooting for an internal temperature uh, about 120 122 degrees is where we'll pull it off and let it sit and rest and the carryover temperature on it we'll take this then up to right where we want to be perfectly at medium medium rare so it'll be pink on the inside but warm all the way through. So just get that. Let's be nice and liberal with the rub. And we are good to go. So I will join you back here in a little while when we go to put it on the smoker. And then we'll have a little rest and wait for it for a bit. Okay, back. Thought I'd give you a little bit better view of it. So here it is, all rubbed. Uh, again, as I said, this is mostly salt pepper, uh, some ground garlic, and it has a little paprika in it for color. And then it has a um, Italian herb rub that I made that is mostly uh, oregano, a little cilantro, uh, some rosemary, and a little bit of crushed garlic. So this is how she's going to sit, and she'll be going on, oh, probably we're about 15 minutes away from the smoker being hot. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and run this at 275 for the duration of the cook, which probably with this size piece, it's a five pound uh, prime rib. I think we're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of two hours, maybe two and a half uh, to get it to the internal temp of 120, 122, which is where I'll pull it and then let it rest. And it should be a perfect medium rare from there. Okay, so we're back. We have the smoker up to temp. Actually, we're a little above where we want to be, but that's okay. That's how a stick burner operates, is we take it a little bit above where we want to be, and then we bring it down to where we want it. So again, this is the five pound uh, prime rib that's going on. It is covered in, uh, salt and pepper with a little bit of paprika, a little garlic powder, 
and it also has an Italian herb blend rub that's on it. We're going to run it at 275 for just about two hours. I'll come back in a minute put my temperature probe in and we will go from there. So uh, again we're looking for an internal temp somewhere around 120 degrees to pull it off. When, when it's doing its rest it'll then continue to uh, rise in temperature for uh, with transfer heat and so it should be we'll let it finish out just about uh, 125 126 or so which should be a perfect medium rare all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this down and get it going and we'll be back in a bit okay here it is with its temperature probe in uh, we are at 275 in the smoker and 50 degrees in the uh, the meat so again as I said we're gonna get the meat up to uh, we're gonna get it up to 125 or pardon me 120 and after resting it'll come up to 125 there's our fire burning away so this will just give you guys kind of an idea of what's going on in a stick burner uh, we're just running uh, burn everything down to coals and then we throw on a split every, oh, in this smoker, probably about every 30 minutes or so. And that'll keep us right at temp. So we'll be back in a bit. Again, one of the most important things in a stick burner is we are really not looking for thin blue smoke. That's all right. But really what we're looking for is almost clear heat. When we have that, we know that we're getting just the right amount of smoke on the meat. We know that our fire is burning clean and it tells us everything we need to know. It's when we start seeing billowy white smoke, you know you've got a problem. You know your air, your airflow isn't right, your fire is not right, something's wrong. Um, you're always gonna get a little bit of white smoke because you put a new piece of wood in, but it should disappear almost immediately. Anyway, that's at least what I'm trying to run on my Lang, and I'm sure it's what everybody that's running a stick burner is looking for. We are just now hitting 120. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and pull that off here. Oh, that looks fantastic. Just amazing. But we're gonna go ahead and tent these off. You may be able to tell I've got a couple of uh, snacks on there. I put on some uh, jalapeno poppers and some bacon, but uh, those will be done in a bit. In any case, let's get this taken care of. Okay, so this is rested. And let's take a look and see how we did, shall we? Here's where we at the Pig Shack have learned a valuable lesson not to put our tripod on the table that we're cutting meat on. So we're going to let you look at this until we rejoin the video. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're nice and pink and warm in the center. Looks like it came out perfectly. Fantastic. So we'll, let's slice a small piece here and just see if we can get a bit. Let's right, just take a little piece off here. See how it is. Mmm. Oh, that is just fantastic. Well, this is the beautiful and juicy. This is the prime rib uh, that was smoked over pecan. Um, came out beautiful. Uh, it's a nice medium rare, 125 in the center. And everything is perfect. So I hope everybody enjoyed this one. Um, this is an amazing meal to make for family, for friends. It's fantastic. Anyway, I will catch up with you later. Have a good one.
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Jim's Bar and Pig Shack.